Following two road matches, a trip all the way to Toronto, and then a jaunt down south to San Jose, the Timbers come home to Providence Park in Portland, and they will tangle with a familiar foe. It is the second match in five days versus the Earthquakes of San Jose. Question is, where's Wando? Chris Wondolowski, a late addition to the U.S. national team. He'll be playing Friday in Connecticut, that Landon Donovan tribute match. A lot of reserves and only four players on the bench. The, the, both sides and the 11s for both teams. And you have to say, it's for the Portland Timbers to take all three points. The two changes, Michael Harrington comes in for Alvis Powell, who's away on international duty. And, well, welcome back to Diego Valeri, who we're starting to hear whispers of possible MVP of the league. You the yellow card accumulation. And we are underway, the Portland Timbers and San Jose Earthquakes. It's a solid strike, but thankfully, thankfully for Bush, he sees the defender get the right sort of block and not the deflection that Bush saw on Saturday. Twice. Definitely, definitely, Ross, a positive late in the season sometimes. That mandated rest. Rodney Wallace with the header at the near post, but right to John Bush. Bush with good positioning. Always seems to be Johnny on the spot. Beat Toronto 1-0 despite going down a man for the final 40 minutes of the match. Here comes another wave. Valeri, Nagby, will this be it? No. Kind of lost his footing, leaned back, and it went well over the frame. Simmons looks so dangerous. When they want, they can go outside with the ball in, but it's the run from Nagby that cuts inside that goes right down the gut of the San Jose Earthquakes. We're a half an hour in. Larry head up. Adi, header. What a save by John Bush. Parries it over the crossbar. John Bush was frustrated. He called that loss at San Jose dumb luck. Well, Diego Valeri, he's looked so dangerous coming tonight. It's very rare he takes two touches, let alone three or four. Adi, Valeri, Nagby, Rodney Wallace is in. Scores! You can't stop Rodney Wallace from scoring after missing most of the season recovering from knee surgery he's now got three goals in his last three halves well you talked about Benson Mass game what he did was so simple he maintained possession that led to the ball getting lumped up in and the Timbers getting around Adi to make sure they get the seconds Nagby he's looked so, so threatening coming inside coming in the, in the middle to give numbers up and it's a great ball in the space by Rodney who's got the calm, the composure to take a touch and pick his spot, and what a finish it was. Us joining three other Portland attackers in the 18. Valeri, not beyond Cronin. Penalty kick, Timbers. Wallace goes down. Hernandez pleads his case. Toledo is certain of what he saw. And we take another look. Well, you, you can see it as clear as ever, right in the middle of your screen. Is both arms wrapped around Rodney Wallace. Hernandez, he's all over him. The shirt's being sucked every which way. And the referee, he's in a good position from the spot to put the Timbers up 2-0. Facing John Bush. Timbers double their advantage. Well, it's a silly foul by Hernandez in the area. You can see he's tugging, he's pulling at Rodney Wallace when there's no knee because the ball's not coming to him. San Cronin's in a good position and well, was there ever any doubt by anybody in this entire stadium what the finishing product was going to be? Going in, getting sight. 
And Jose found a way into the corner of the 18, but it fizzles out. And this match is opening up. Nagby. Wallace. Can he do it again? No, but Diego can. Three, nil, Portland. Well, the goal comes out in, in transition. The Timbers, the counter attack is so incredibly quick. And you look at the pace of Navy, which allows them to get the touch. And then the strike by Rodney Wallace. It's a great strike because he decides to go across goal. If John Bush saves it, which he does, Rodney Wallace is banking on it, hopefully falling to one of his teammates. And does it sit up? Nicely for Diego Valeri to get a second goal on the night. He's going to throw his body around, but to score goals as well. Thompson. Salinas, one touch up for Cronin. Falls to John, left footed shot, crossbar. It's now time for Vancouver to feel the heat. 